Uh, welcome back to Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill. I had some time since I was late. I was waiting on some people to do some things. And uh, basically, I just sat and Googled a bunch of Nancy Drew stuff. And I, before we get back into the game, I just I want to share what I learned, which is I knew this, but I hadn't really looked at it much before. But the original Secrets Can Kill has this really interesting cartoony style to it and part of me really really wants to see if i can acquire a copy of the disc version of the original of the original disc version this one secrets can kill instead of the remaster and and play it and compare the differences so i spent a lot of time on ebay today bidding on <laughs> Bidding on old copies of Secrets Can Kill. <laughs> How was everybody else's day? <laughs> that's that's what I've been up to. Because I bet if I get my emulator, my, my Windows emulator to emulate an older copy of Windows, I bet I could get it to work. And I'd really, really like to see it. I like this cartoony style. It's so interesting. It's so different from the other Nancy games, you know? Hi, Carsonian. Hi, Goofy Bits. How do you like that? How are you guys? <laughs> Nancy has blonde hair in the DS game. I don't like this. This is something else I know. Okay, can we talk about this? Let's look at this image right here. This image. This is the image on Steam. This is the front page. This is the page of the game, right? Now, this is clearly, what's her name? Connie? It's the red-haired girl that doesn't like us, right? That She's the one on, she's the, one on the right. The... the the guy over here, that's the Hulk guy, right? That's the football player guy. This is Hal because he's dressed like, whoops, she's dressed like Shaggy. But who is this girl? <laughs> there's no other girl. Is this Nancy Drew? Because there's, we're, there are no other women in this story. It's Nancy Drew and then the girl who doesn't like Nancy Drew. <laughs> is this Nancy? <laughs> uh, hey, Angry Game Live, how are you? Hi, <laughs> Power. Hi, Dwarf. Thank you for the lurk. <laughs> uh, it's a new Sims game. No, it's Nancy Drew. It's it's a mystery game. It's like, well, it's nothing like The Sims at all. <laughs> but sorry, before we play the game, I have I just have one more thing I want to share with you, which is that I did I started to read the book. Right. So all of the Nancy games are based on a book. Load faster. Whoops. Oh God. Sorry. They're all based on a book. This one's based on the Nancy Drew Files Secrets Can Kill. She's looking very 1980s here. I think this is also Nancy Drew, Goofy Bits. I think she's blonde on this book cover as well. Is Nancy not always blonde? Because I always assumed Nancy was a blonde. Um, can't find it. There's a long play by Half Moon Joe. Yeah, I looked, I looked a little bit at some long plays, but I want to see if I can play it myself. I really want to see if we can play the original version. But what's interesting about this one is in the book, they give you the case assignment right up front. So in the book, your case assignment is to go undercover and investigate a th series of thefts at Bedford High. And your contact is Daryl Gray. That's the same guy in this story, Daryl Gray, a gorgeous senior with sexy blueberry colored eyes and an instant attraction to Nancy. That was obvious. Interesting that he's a contact and not a suspect in the book. But your suspects, you have Jake Webb, a genuine creep <laughs> who seems to have something on half the kids at school. Walt Hunk Hogan. Hunk Hogan. <laughs> the tough football captain who's acting strangely paranoid as opposed to, they call him, they actually call him Hulk in this game, but his last name is different. I don't know. I don't remember what his last name is in the game. Carla Dalton, they call her Carrie or something in this one, who hates Nancy on sight. True. Hal Morgan, not Hal Tanaka, the class brain who Nancy catches cheating on a test. Oh, that'd be spoilers for the game if we were already almost done with the game. <laughs> I just thought that this was so interesting that they took some details and they altered them. And when I started reading the actual book, like immediately she gets the VHS tape and I had to stop reading because I was like, oh God, I'm going to spoil everything for myself. Because I don't know what's on the VHS tape, but I'm dying to see. Anyways, let me, let me, 
I'm sorry. What? <laughs> how are you guys? <laughs> we just have one consistent Nancy. No, we cannot have one consistent Damn Nancy, right. clearly. I thought she was a redhead. I've seen brown hair too. She's all over the place. I don't, I, I don't know, man. When I picture Nancy Drew, I picture like a 1950s, like a blonde 1950s Hi, teenager. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations. You know what I mean? My desk. That's, that's how I picture around. Nancy Drew. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, Take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. We talked about the Nancy it's real show from 2019. Especially if you're new Nancy, to the stop talking. I'm trying to think for a sec. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, wait. <laughs> I gotta load the game. Load. Um. The so welcome back, where we actually left off last time, was. I'm so close to breaking into this thing under this chair, but I, I, I'm not sure how. And that's where we left it. And I need to go talk to everybody again. That's what I need to do. Um, a murder was committed. Jake, what was his name? Jake Rogers has been murdered and we're trying to find out uh, who, who done it. I'm very invested in the story. I still think Daryl Gray did it. He's still my first contender. <laughs> we talked about the Nancy Drew TV show from 2019. There's four seasons. Are they still making it? That's where they, that's where they, like, Riverdale'd Nancy Drew, right? It's a CW show, is that right? Nancy Drew 2019. Oh, she's a red, she is a redhead in this show. Oh, that's Kennedy McMahon! I saw that she did a stream of the brand new Nancy Drew game. I didn't know who she was, she kept saying Nancy Drew plays Nancy Drew, and I was like, are you the new voice? Are you... I didn't know she was the 2019 Nancy Drew. They, they st they're still making this show? They're not still making this show. The fourth and final season premiered on May 31st, 2023. Have you seen it, Goofy Bits? Is it any good? Also had a movie watched in Discord. Yeah, but when I see Emma Roberts, I don't think Nancy Drew, to be honest with you. I think about that really bad Nickelodeon show, Unfabulous. Anybody remember that one? Because it's a completely forgettable show. I couldn't name you one single thing that happens in that show other than I think she plays the guitar. No idea what happens in there. Hi, Tilda. How are you? <laughs> On HBO Max, I'll watch it and get back with you. Okay, thank you. Speaking of reports, you gotta get back to me on. Did you, uh, Goofy Bits, did you play the DS game of Nancy Drew? I haven't played any of those yet, but I'm curious about them. How's it going? All right, let's let's question Hulk. The video. Ooh, the robbery! Yeah, let's question about the robbery. That's right. We learned that there was a robbery, and they stole steroids from the pharmacy. Oh, I hope we can accuse him of theft. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure you do, bud. Sure you do, buddy. <laughs> I need to sleep. Have a great stream. Thank you for stopping by. This is Nancy's a lot to process if you if you need to sleep. That's it's too much. You gotta you have to sleep. <laughs> there's otherwise there's just too much, Nancy. One DS game so far is pretty decent. It's just not hidden item games like the others. Oh, sweet. That's great news, actually. I can't believe Nancy won't inquire further about the robbery. You should press a little harder, Nance. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. The man is dead. Here's the thing, right? A boy died. He's dead, and they can't be nice to, about him at all. How bad was this guy? I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. They talk about him like he killed someone, not like he died. It's so weird to me. They're like, yeah, that dead kid, what a loser. 
it just... I don't know, maybe it's the time period, maybe it's 19... It's because it's 1998 here. That I just uh, expected, like, the bare amount of empathy from high schoolers, which is, I know, it's asking a lot. What is it you want now? Why is everybody so mad at me all the time? Just because I keep asking about a dead kid that nobody likes. <sighs> Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? So mean. Uh... Do you know about the cassette case? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. No, I'm not done talking to you. Hey, I have more Nancy, questions. Need something? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. But what a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. She is the most realistic teenager I maybe have ever seen in a video game. <laughs> I also noticed that people in this first game don't talk for paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs like they like to in the later Nancy games. Everybody answers in two sentences. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Maybe it's because they all hate Jake. I don't know. <laughs> I love if the answer is that all the students were in on the murder. They all murdered him together. It's possible if that feels like that's what um well I'm about to spoil an entire series for everybody if I tell you what that's like. <laughs> Did anybody you guys haven't seen this? I'm about to spoil an entire series for everybody. Has anybody watched Pretty Little Liars or read the books Pretty Little Liars? It's very girl centered, which is why I don't Tilda might be the only one in here who's even heard of Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> Dilda and Carsonian might be the only ones that know what I'm talking about. Um, but Pretty Little Liars, spoilers, has a very similar concept. <laughs> I didn't watch the TV show because I loved the books so much and the TV show got so much wrong about the books that I couldn't watch it, but I might revisit it one day. I also never read past book eight because in my head canon that is where the story ends and she wrote eight more books after that, but I don't agree with them. <laughs> so, so in my mind they don't exist. In my mind there's only eight books in the Pretty Little Liars series. I have a lot of opinions about Pretty Little Liars. It was a very formative book series in my middle school years. <laughs> Little was banned from watching Astro as a teen. That makes sense, actually. Watched a video essay on it recently, though. That also makes sense, Tilda. <laughs> I forgot that you were banned from watching things as a teen, but it does seem like something you might be interested in. You might have been interested in at some point. That that tracks. I forgot about that, but you're that tracks. <laughs> That, you know, that was a good call. I'm gonna say that it's a good call, maybe, to ban teens from reading that, because it was... Well, maybe not teens, but for a middle schooler, it was a lot of new information for me. <laughs> anyway, let's accuse him of plagiarism. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. 
I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Hal is really guilt tripping us very hard right now. I really like Hal. I still really like Hal, even though he plagiarized, but I have to say, again, this game is set in 1998. Do you know how easy it is to plagiarize in 1998? There's not a really strong Google yet <laughs> to look up and compare your essay. You could have just changed 20 words. <laughs> And you probably would have been okay. It wouldn't have been so recognizable, dude. It would have been so easy for you to not directly word for word copy the essay. That's my soapbox, is you did a bad job of cheating. If you were gonna cheat, at least be good at it, right? <laughs> uh, have you read any of the other Nancy Drew books based on the games you have completed? No, but I really want to go back and read them. This is something that I, this is, this is a project that I'm considering undertaking, is reading the books after I finish the game, reading the book that goes along with it. I would really like to. Stilted as hell, it's him. I mean, I think it sounds stilted as hell because he's a, he's a foreign exchange student. So I'm not holding that against him. But then again, Nancy walked up and was like, Hey, did you murder a man? And he was like, No. <laughs> I mean, I am a liar and a cheater, but I would never murder a man. <laughs> Please ignore that I lied and cheated before. So, you know, what can we trust? What can we trust out of his mouth? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Liar. Liar. I think everybody's a liar. See ya. Well, Goodbye, we know Nancy. he's a liar, because he's a plagiarist. Was that everybody? No, it's not Daryl. I gotta talk to Daryl. And then I think I will have talked to all the kids. And then I, I don't actually know what to do from there. I just know that I really needed to talk to all the kids again. <laughs> I'll talk to Detective hey, Lester. Glad you stopped by. I don't like this kid. Something about his eyebrows. And that he keeps hitting on me, even though I'm in love with Ned. Um. Mm, do I rebuff him, or do I ask him what's the word on the street? <laughs> like I'm a 1960s detective. <laughs> Who's really bad at being under undercover. <laughs> the lying and cheating. It is the lying and cheating. It, it, that's a good point. That the lying and cheating could be why he's so stilted. I Again, I had a hypothesis last stream that... Hal wasn't actually a foreign exchange student. He's a serial killer going from school to school pretending to be a foreign exchange student. Which is a pretty good cover for a serial killer. The minigames on the DS game are real good. Ooh, okay. Nice. Hey, Kazola, welcome back. Good to see you. This is nice. I think I'm going to rebuff him because I'm sick of him hitting on me. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. What? He lost something at the diner and accused us of stealing it. The detect the detective detective Lester? 
Also, I, I would really love to say I hate, I hate, <laughs> I hate that lean in that he does. It makes me so uncomfortable when he leans over the counter at me. And part of it is that I, I think his eyes start looking in different directions when that happens. But it's like, our, it's like we, need, we need this counter barrier between us because you make me very uncomfortable, Daryl Gray. <laughs> hey, Dave. I'm Mr. Cranky Pants again, I dare you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cranky Pants. I love that they all talk in this 1940s slang. dance music from Phantom of Venice. It's on again? I swear to God, they won't stop playing the dance music from Phantom of Venice. It won't leave me alone. They play it all throughout this game. I don't get it. Um. Alright, should we accuse him of something? Let's accuse him of something. Um. Ooh, yes. Hal Tanaka told me told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. That's not a very strong opener, Nance. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once, but I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. That is the worst freaking defense I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this guy killed a man. Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. How could you never really think about that? He, Daryl is the one who discovered the dead body. And he never put it together that he was also just happened to be in detention. <laughs> because of the soaping when that happened. I hate this guy. <laughs> Such a liar. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna call his dad a poor. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Is yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to- Nancy, he's gonna kill you right now. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? <laughs> I called his dad a poor. He got really mad at me and then- <laughs> And then apologized. <laughs> Dude, yeah, why does- Nancy should- Nancy should be armed at all times, right? She wouldn't die so much. I think if Nancy was strapped- she wouldn't die so much. <laughs> she really should go for the, like, full intimidation tactic. She, she just needs to be like, <laughs> when he says, what else can I do for you? you she, just, she, just fl she just pulls up her shirt a little bit, flashes, flashes that little gun. Like, I don't know, what else can you do for me? <laughs> What's her strap of choice? Hmm... I think that she would have- it'd be small. She'd have like a small, like a cute little small gun. But it would be in the same color scheme that all of Trevor's guns in GTA are, which is hot pink. It would be a hot pink, very small pistol. <laughs> you know, it's cute. It fits in your purse. It's an accessory. <laughs> Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm asking the questions here, bub. Don't, don't, don't be questioning me on what I was doing, snooping around in Jake's locker. Uh, whoa. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is a t Nancy, absolutely do not tell him that you're investigating the murder. Uh, uh, I don't know. It was open, I guess. It was open, and I just looked through it. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea. What else can I do for you? This is the weirdest interaction. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Yeah, that's right. Don't 
don't trash talk the horse girls, Dave. Because they're all strapped. <laughs> Shoot the scope of dude in the knee. Dude, that would have been such a better ending than what we had happen in Scopa. <laughs> He would have killed us if we told him we were investigating the murder, right? See you later. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Are you sure you didn't leave this note for me? Weirdo. Dylan HVAC. I have the solution to your mystery. Ah, dang it. Somebody solved it before me. Meet me in the basement of the maintenance room at the high school. Nancy, this is a great way to get murdered. <laughs> This is a murder setup if I've ever seen one. Bye, Nancy. Goodbye forever. And yep, detective really is gone. Did he leave something behind? Whoops. Go back. Leave anything here? Huh, I guess not. I can't, I can't believe <laughs> it's always this song. It is always the Phantom of Venice song in the background. All right, it's time for Nancy to go get murdered now. Let's go ahead and save. <laughs> uh, we'll find out if Nancy can die in this game. Oh, we did find out yesterday. She did die yesterday. Um, we set off an alarm in front of. Connie, I think is her name, the red-headed girl. We set off an alarm in front of her and then she killed us. <laughs> She's very serious about her hall monitor job. I do feel like we're gonna die. Oh, I already unlocked the door, sweet. Oh, I wrote this down. I wrote this down. I wrote this down. It's, um, it's, how do I, oh god, wait, oh, I hope it's Jake's locker combination because I don't have a good code for this if it's not. Why is this locked? 5253? Oh god. Oh god, wait, oh, this isn't the combination? <laughs> oh no. What? Um. Oh, Nancy's gonna die. Um. I don't. Ha oh no! I don't have another. I don't have another. Is there anybody in here? I don't have another combination. Is it? Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh! I know what to do. I know what to do now. I know what to do. Can I leave this room? Oh wait, is it 1960? Maybe it's 1967. Okay, but I know what- I know how to get the videotape! I know how to get the videotape, because we have the matchbook and it has that symbol on it! I know what to do, but I need to- I- I don't know if I'm stuck in this room now. 1967. Yes! Okay! <laughs> Too hot. Damn it, Nancy. You have the gloves on you. I know you took them earlier. <laughs> okay, the first one. I wrote this down. I wrote this down. I wrote it down. Um. Um. Oh, where did I write it down? Shoot, shoot. Oh, here it is. Here it is. 15. I think that's about right. 15. 100. That's right. Can't. Not right. Nancy died. Oops. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> that was a fun stock explosion, wasn't it? That was a fun stock explosion. Nancy doesn't explode a lot. <laughs> I need to turn over here. 
I'm gonna grab the match button. I don't need it. I guess I don't need it immediately. Okay. <laughs> Nineteen. Sixty-seven. And then, Nancy, put on some gloves, please. Is there an order to this? Hold on. It's just, it's right here. Um, it's low, it's high, it's mid. I wrote that down. What did I do wrong? Did I start on this end? I can't touch this. See, that seems right. But like, why can't I touch this? I'm, I'm, I'm clicking all over it. I need this to move. But if I touch this again, I'm gonna explode. <laughs> Neither of these other two are moving for me. What am I doing wrong? Pretty sure Nancy's gonna explode again. <laughs> ah, I don't wanna explode again, but I don't understand why I can't touch the other two. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Detective Beach heard the explosion and came running. Bad news after he saw you were okay. I'm okay after that? <laughs> They made a dab joke about you dying. Oh yeah, they said I got a good tan, right? I hate that for me. Three holes in the fire. It doesn't look like there is glass. There's three holes with the fire in them that doesn't look like there is glass. Um, that's a good... I think, well, we came down here yesterday and it was just black on the inside, as if it wasn't on. So I think the fire is just showing that it's on now, but I don't know. I don't know. Super weird, I can't touch that one. Oh, it's all time. It's all a time thing. What? Well, it, it like unlocks at certain points? Okay, I think that's the right stance, this. This. This needs to be back at a hundred. And then move this down. That's confusing. It's- you can only move one- the middle lever when this lever is at a certain point. Okay. That was just- that was luck. <laughs> That's progress. And now we can go do the, 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 the I, I assume it's the videotape. Can you put the gloves away, please? We can go do the puzzle under his chair. Oh my god! <laughs> Who could have done this? <laughs> Help! <laughs> can I go down the stairs? Oh no, I must... Oh no, I don't- I can't fix it with tools? Ah, oh, what kind of bozo would have done this to me? Just when I figured out that- how to do the other puzzle. There's that. Wait, what do you mean the videotape is just sitting there? <laughs> what am I going up to solve the puzzle for then? <laughs> All 
right, I, I've, I've backdoored it out of the school. We're gonna go ahead and save that. <laughs> do we watch the videotape or do we go solve the puzzle? I think we watch the videotape. I hope my Aunt Eloise isn't here. She doesn't see me put weird stuff in her VCR. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Is the Hecton all they stole? Knew it. Did she steal a trophy? Dude, this kid's got blackmail on everybody. This is a blackmail tape. That's why everybody hated him. Where's Daryl Gray? No blackmail on Daryl Gray? Then he would be the only one something to make this work. He would be the only one without motive. Huh. Okay. Okay, so everybody's bad. Connie steals trophies. Al's a plagiarist. We knew that. The Hulk t takes steroids. We also- we knew that. They didn't explicitly tell us, but we knew that. <laughs> so often it's exactly the person you didn't expect that did it, in theory. And it... It's the lack of motive. I mean, I've suspected Daryl Gray since the second we got here, and I don't like that I don't have a good motive. Other than Daryl Gray has a huge temper and maybe just lost his temper and pushed him down a flight of stairs. Um, hmm. Here. Oh, the library, right? Should I talk to people? Should I, like, accuse them of their hey, wrongdoings? Need something? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Oh. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Did you kill Jake to stop him from blackmailing you? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. So she didn't do a bad thing. She didn't steal a trophy. She was just the masked entrant in a tournament. <laughs> um, I don't think she did it. I, I, I regret asking her this question because I feel like I'm in a whodunit line of questioning now. But I don't want to accuse her because I don't think she done it. Uh, both of these are the same accusation. <laughs> There is no difference between these two accusations. Whoever pushed Jake down the stairs also beat him up. Someone with a black belt could have done it. Do you think I would give up everything I've worked for and do a stupid thing like that? I despised Jake, but I'd never think of killing him. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, I really don't think she did it. We already accused- we already talked to oh, Hal about you, his plagiarism. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. I'm see really embarrassed to see you again. On account of the plagiarism? You should be embarrassed. Plagiarism's embarrassing. Gross, don't do it.
Alright, I mean, I guess I could go talk to what's-his-name and accuse him of taking steroids, but... Okay, this is- this is the periodic table of elements puzzle. Where is it? Um... Okay, so you know what I didn't do? I didn't put all of my directions in order like I was supposed to. Did I grab that matchbook? Okay, this symbol is right here. So from here... I'm just gonna cross these off as I go. I guess that would be the easiest one. First one is number two, helium up two. So I'm gonna guess... Okay, okay and then up two, one, two. And then cross that off. And then the next one is six, is right one. Okay, and then next one is 11, which is L3, 1, 2, 3. Next, the 11, we have 19, no, we have 17. 17 is D2, 2. Um, then 19 is R1, then after 19, anything in the 20s, no, then we have 30 is D1, okay, 30, Three is U four. One, two, three, four. Thirty-three, thirty-six is L two. Six. Thirty-nine is D three. Three. 40 is R4, 2, 3, 4, uh, 47, 47 is D1, 40s, 40s, 40, 50, 2, 52, 52 is L3. 1, 2, 3. Next number, 53 is U2. Uh, I messed it up! Oh wait, U2 is up. Oh shoot, I've messed it up somewhere. Up. Oh god, did I mess it up somewhere? Oh god, did I mess it up somewhere? 54 is R3. 1, 2, 1, 2 3. That was 54. 57 is U2. 2. 2. Nothing in the 60s. And then we go 72. Is L1. 77 is D2, 1, 2, and 80 is L3, 1, 2, 3. ANOTHER cassette TAPE! <laughs> mm. They're roided out guys, not gonna kill you if you accuse him. Ooh, that's a good point. We might get throttled to death if we accuse the steroid man of using steroids. We should definitely see what's on this tape first. And then maybe accuse Steroid Man. Maybe we're gonna see- are we gonna witness a murder on this tape? This has to be the Daryl Gray tape, right? Like, this has to be. How do I get out of here? There's no way he doesn't have dirt on a guy like Daryl Gray. Maybe it's dirt on his daddy.
the vibes shift between the high school music and <laughs> Aunt Eloise's house's music is insane. Is it this one? This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Called Let's it. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This dork what? Is really some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc, etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Aunt Eloise? Ah, Is that ah, you? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Who's here? Who's in the house? Who's in the house? Who's in the- Turn the TV off! Look away! Who's here? Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seem kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Fatal error! Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No, you said my journal. Fatal error! You found my journal. Into the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude... You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. Who's but stop Mitch with Dillon? This delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Look, I really didn't think I was going to be right. I really. There was no part of me at any point in this that genuinely believed that he did it. <laughs> Which I guess he didn't. Some random partner who's not even here did it? So sad, detective. It is. See, this is, this is why Nancy needs to carry a gun. Because then you just get into a standoff. It's just, who shoots first? <sighs> I don't like the cut of this guy's jib. You know what? Yeah. He never liked the cut of this guy's jib. We 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 fr said from the beginning this is Lester from GTA if he made different decisions in life. But still clearly the same personality. Um do we lie? Are all the answers lies? All of the answers are lies. And they're all here in the home. So is the goal Do I just need to distract him long enough that I can run away? Um. <laughs> we came to the safe. You think you think the safe behind the tapestry? 
in the sofa under the rose paintings. I think let's try behind the tapestry. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get shot. I don't feel like there's any correct answer. It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. What's the combination? I I do I tell him the actual combination? All roads lead to me getting shot. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. It's not in here, and I'm tired of these tricks you're playing. Where's my journal? You've tried my patience long enough. You leave me no choice but to find the journal on my own. No. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Killed me by slapping me with a gun. <laughs> I mean, look, I know we've knocked out people in GTA that way, but guess what? It's not very fun to be on the receiving end. <laughs> this is such an intense ending. <laughs> yeah, what was the knock knock joke? It went by too fast. It said, knock knock, you got beached. Is that what it said? <laughs> Hi, Minute Rice, how are you? I did die. I, I, a man, a man pistol whipped me to death. <laughs> I'm so mad Nancy doesn't have a gun right now. I need Nancy to have a gun right now. <laughs> I can't believe her daddy, Carson Drew, hasn't, hasn't given her a gun yet. Okay. So I'm going to tell him that it's in the sofa and maybe if he, cause I think the sofa is behind me. So if he gets behind me, then maybe I can run out because it didn't give me the option to move. But stop with this delaying tactic, detective Nancy. Where's my journal? <laughs> um, or whether it would have triggered an alarm if he failed the combo. Ooh, maybe so. It's in the entrance, in the sofa, under the rose paintings. Oh god, it's not behind me. Why me? Why did you choose me to go undercover? You fit the bill. You're a teenager, you're new in town, and you're an amateur detective. I overheard your aunt talking about you at the diner and came up with the whole undercover idea. No journal, Nancy. I'm going to give you another chance. Tell me where my journal is. He's a lot more generous this time. <laughs> uh, let's... Okay, I like Power's idea of... It's in the entrance, him the wrong behind combo. the tapestry. What's the combination? Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. That's not it, Nancy. Oh no! <laughs> Moo Pi Phi Zeta. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Delta, 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 Delta. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer <laughs> you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. Oh, I and forgot about the steroids. <laughs> the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. Can we talk about how freaking awesome Aunt, Aunt Eloise is? For 
having a full jail cell come down if you try to break into her safe. <laughs> That's so freaking badass. <laughs> Uh, still has his gun though. Yeah, he, he could have just shot us, huh? He could have shot us through the bars. That was very nice of him to not. <laughs> um, oh, it's quiz time. Sorry. What's the name of the local newspaper? I, j I just... You know, you know that scene in Friends where Phoebe accident puts on all the jewelry and then she runs out of the jewelry shop and then the cage comes down? That's what it reminds me of. This is like a jewelry shop jail cage that Aunt Eloise has installed in her home. <laughs> How rich is Aunt Eloise, the school librarian? <laughs> Was she in on it? I have no idea what the local paper was called. Uh, How about the Paseo Reporter? How'd I do? Not good. <laughs> oh man, I didn't rebuff enough amorous attempts from Daryl to defend Ned. <laughs> Easter egg confidential, darn it. Trivia tamer? Nope, got that wrong too. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't find all the quarters. Oh well. Jacques for confronting all those Weasley suspects. I didn't. I should have. I should have accused Hal about the ster or Hulk, the Hulk about the steroids. But I, I just, I thought we were gonna get dirt on Daryl Gray, and then we were gonna go confront Daryl Gray. I didn't know that that was how the game was gonna end. <laughs> I am so absolutely shook by this ending. <laughs> Ooh, are we going to Japan? Or stay tuned for Jamie? I've Ginger? always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns, I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the Ryokan I'm staying Is this an ad for a Nancy game? Reputation. Because it doesn't I'm sound not like sure one. Exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's a Nancy Join game? Me in my next adventure. Shadow at the water's edge. <laughs> oh no. You know, I still didn't figure out some of those puzzles. There are like a ton of pictures in my phone of puzzles that I didn't solve. <laughs> See that? I, I, what is that? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Huh. Well, I mean, I guess it's... <laughs> that game looks terrifying. <laughs> I missed it. Was it Hal? It wasn't Hal, Madame Masquerade. It was... It was the detective! It was the only adult in the room! <laughs> Killing children for no good reason! I mean, I guess for good reason. For money. But... <laughs> Uh, that scary game has pachinko in it? I like pachinko, but I don't- it looks like an actually scary game. <laughs> okay. I feel like this game really gave you a lot of red herrings. It gave you a lot of dead ends that didn't actually go anywhere. But I kind of like it. It was very interesting how this was done. I really liked this one. I really, really liked this one, and I really want to play. I want to play the original Fair version. Because I heard, or read it, <laughs> that, detec that detective guy is not in the first one? So it must have a different ending. A 
And I am so curious Hi, about how it's Drew. different. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the Man, book that title, was so good. How to be a Detective. 